This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to this show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. I'm Danielle Neufer, an educator for over 20 years who went up against two bouts of serious teacher burnout before finally realizing that I needed to share what worked and what didn't with educators everywhere. This is when Teaching Well was born. At Teaching Well, I partner with schools who recognize that when teacher well-being is prioritized, true teaching and learning can happen. And there's nothing more integral to building this kind of school culture than finding ways to care for yourself in the midst of all the school day hustle and bustle. Building in these moments is what this show is all about and what I hope to bring to you each time I get the opportunity to speak with you here. So with that, let's begin. Good morning, it's Danielle, your guide with another inspiring episode of Morning Motivation for Educators. In our previous episodes, we unveiled the unseen scripts that shape our reactions and traced our tendencies to better understand ourselves. Today, we're delving into a topic that might just be your secret classroom weapon mindfulness. When we talk about mindfulness, it's not all about sitting cross-legged and chanting OM, though that's perfectly fine. It's about being present in every moment. And when you bring this presence to your classroom, honestly, it's like magic. Imagine the scenario. You're in the middle of a lesson and a student interrupts you with an unexpected question. Previously, you might have reacted with frustration or annoyance. But with mindfulness, you take a breath, you pause and listen, and you're actually curious. Suddenly, what was about to be chaos turns into a moment of connection. It's like wielding a superpower, and it's within your reach. Because guess what? Nothing needs to change in your classroom except your approach to when these sorts of classroom things happen. Now, here's the really great part. This isn't just for teachers. Mindfulness can and should be embraced by everyone in the schools that we're working in. Imagine the custodian taking a breath or the principal leading by example, modeling mindfulness with their interactions. When we all learn to be well, we become the change that our schools desperately need. And that's the secret to transforming school culture. When the adults in the school are grounded, present, and mindful, the students actually notice They feel seen, heard, and valued. They learn not just from what we teach, but from how we are. That's how we create a nurturing and adaptable school culture. But let's not forget about our school leaders. They too can wield mindfulness as a secret weapon. A mindful principal, for example, models the behaviors that they want to see in their staff. They approach challenges with a calm and steady hand, and they make space for open dialogue and reflection. Here's an example of how this could work. Imagine a principal faced with a school-wide issue, perhaps a decline in student performance. Um, A non-mindful leader might react to stress, blame, and rash decision-making, but a mindful leader takes a step back. They engage with their staff in open and honest conversations, exploring the root causes. They provide support and resources, and most importantly, they remain calm and focused. So educators, as we conclude today's episode, I encourage you to start your own mindfulness practice. It's not just for personal well-being, although that's truly a significant benefit and one that's not easily overlooked. If you want some help getting started, that's what I'm here for. Remember, your presence can set the tone. And when you bring mindfulness to the table, you're not just teaching a subject, you're teaching skills that will serve your students well beyond your classroom. Take a mindful breath, and until next time, stay present, stay curious, and keep changing lives. If this morning's motivation resonated with you, I'd love to connect more. Check out the show notes to find out how we can partner together. Thanks for listening, and whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share them with this with them right now.